So we've beaten all of West Europe's campaign. And then we have the South Asian campaign, which is all new. Allah gives and Allah takes. I fear that I do not have much time left in this world. Also, I appreciate the I background art so much. I'm so happy they kept the tradition. My life has been an adventure. And for all my humility, I believe it has been extraordinary enough to be written about. You may accuse me of vanity, but I have decided to write the book myself. It should be good literature, after all. I dined with fine emirs and caroused with simple peasants on moonlit steps. They waged wars and sat on thrones only to lose them again. And it all began in the maelstrom of intrigue and bloody skirmishes that was my beloved Transoxiana, the melting pot of Persian high culture and nomadic traditions. I don't like playing as Persian. the east of Samarkand. My father ruled the fertile slopes of the Fergana Valley. Like all heirs of Tamerlane, he was a proud Timurid who sought to imitate his great ancestor. Unfortunately, Allah had not blessed him with a knack for warfare. After a few humiliating defeats, he decided to devote himself to his other passions. Eating, drinking, and rearing pigeons. One day, as my father was climbing the stairs to check on his birds, Allah, in his infinite wisdom, decided that this model of gluttony had waffled on the earth for long enough. Halfway up to the dovecote, the stairs collapsed under him, and he fell to his death. And that is how I, Babur, came to be lord of the Fergana Valley. Yet, like all transitions of power in our culture, it was not to be a peaceful one. Thanks to my dear mother, Kutluk, my bays agreed not to abandon what surely appeared to be a dynasty in shambles. But my devious uncles were another matter. At that time, I was just a 14-year-old boy with nothing to my name, and my uncles, who had long desired the Fergana Valley, thought that my inheritance was ripe for the taking. A lot of these uh, campaigns remind you of moments where you always get the one person who doesn't read bar with this and then you have to take up. Can I spy you? Men sex? sneak around in the shadows of our walls, my princess. Okay. Shall we get the boy to safety? Nah, we don't need safety where we're going. So we're playing as the Tartars. These cowards before. snuck up in the dark Care of the girl. night, but there is no need to fearfully hide. Hold our position until dawn, and the sun will reveal the faces of these scoundrels. Okay, I do get uh, the carry archers. Damn, carry on. It's kind of cool. You get like a nighttime setting. Though.
Oh, they got rid of that noise. They used to make a particular noise. They got rid of that, I'm so sad. Just as I expected. Some of your greedy uncles were among the attackers. They are not worthy of ruling glorious Summerkant. Hello. And since they failed to seize our homeland, we will now take theirs. Oh yeah, carry on, just stand here. Dang, we're not going to debate. Go right, man. Go right, man. Go right, man. Go right, man. Amarin is. Go right, man. Much can be achieved if you trust in Allah and your own strength. But it cannot hurt to have loyal allies by your side. Seek out other Amirs in the area who can be convinced to join our cause. Nah. Not interested. Whoa. What? Does that increase the damage at all? Nah, it doesn't. It just makes some... What's this do? Okay, Risa. Okay, watch this area. What's up? We don't need roads where we're going. We're gonna pave the road with our enemies. I'm Renis Kurgaiman. Salam. Kurgaiman, Kurgaiman, Kurgaiman. Say they get rid of that noise. It's like a, it's not like a push. I don't know how to put it, but it was interesting. Ah, Babu. Annoying. Don't get wrong. The young tiger with both tamales and lemon's blood in his veins. Very well. Bring me ten white horses, and we shall form an alliance following our traditional customs. The computer is basically dead at this point. Your father was not exactly a Do you care more for pious people, Babu? Hazard. Then bring me a holy relic. Oh, right, man. E. That might be some time. Let's see. There's five horses. Four horses, so that was five. Unless we got converted along the way. I have no troops to spare, Babur. But my people report that the Uzbeks construct siege weapons in a nearby camp. I would rather see these powerful devices in your hands than theirs. We have burned one of our enemy's camps. If we destroy the remaining ones, Samarkand will be under our control.
You will easily crush your devious uncles with these trebuchet. I don't even want the trebuchet, to be honest. Let's quest the pawn. So haughty. Reckless opponents are easy to overcome. Salam. Cool right, man. Cool right, cool right, man. Cool right, man. I'm ready to just keep yelling at the sheep, cause I ain't gonna use them. Watch out, orange. Shave any cones and I like ladies of all. We're one for another. Orange is the new gray. Gray was already hard to see in the 
first HD Empires 2, the HD version. Now it's just as it's just as hard to see. In the tiger the, has shown uh, his clothes. Mark my words, Bubble. We will meet again. I'm gonna wrap this up. Is this neutral? Yeah, okay, it's neutral. I'm not supposed to destroy it then. I mean, I can destroy it, but I don't have to. These rats! Destroy the last enemy camp, and Samarkand will be Babur's! I don't know how fast I can make them. They're gonna be like a machine gun. Almost, not really. I'm gonna run an experiment to see how long it would take. I should shoot. We're gonna use two cheats. It's not gonna give us any achievements, but. Something to theorize. It doesn't last just a few. I could cry with pride and happiness. Samarkand, Tamerlane's dearest bride, is back in the hands of a true Timurid. And this man of honor is you, my son. Hey. On a moonless autumn night, we overcame the walls of Samarkand. The city's merchants and dignitaries were thrilled to receive me and praised my sense of justice as they had heard that I did not tolerate looting among my soldiers. Yet when Shaybani Khan returned in the spring and Uzbek soldiers blocked the trade routes, their enthusiasm quickly evaporated. Before long, a famine broke out in the city. As the weeks wore on, more and more of my men left Samarkand under the pretext that they might catch a few sheep outside of the walls. None of them were ever seen again. In the end, I realized that I had to gamble for my survival. With my last loyal followers, I snuck past the besiegers during the night and sped towards the Fergana Valley to procure provisions and reinforcements. When we reached the valley at dawn, two riders came bringing terrible news. In my absence, one of Shaybani's generals had made himself the new master of Fergana. I felt like my father was there when the stairs gave way under him. I had stretched my luck too thin and lost the land of my forefathers to the invaders. Now we have a soft story. <laughs> 